What's up, everybody? Back with another fantastic, fabulous gold guide. Um, today, I'm actually in the Bastion of Twilight, or will be here in a moment. The reason I'm in Bastion of Twilight is because, well, unfortunately, it looks like the potions of luck are going bye-bye. So tonight on my Twitch stream, I am going to be going freaking balls out, and I'm going to farm until these potions of luck are gone. So... Here's what I'm here's what I'm proposing for the new gold farm today. We are in Bastion of Twilight 25 man. Now you can do this on 10 if you don't have the gear. You can do it on 25 and give it a shot. We're not actually clearing the raid. What we're doing is we're just clearing the first area of trash. Okay. The necessary to this raid is right here. Potions of treasure finding. Okay. Uh, made by alchemists. I have my my alchemist made some. They're, they they are better than potions of luck as far as pe uh, cataclysm content because they last for one hour and persist through life and death. So you go ahead, you, you take your potion of luck, you do a one hour farm. Simple. With a one hour farm, basically what it's going to give you at this point is you are going to clear this first room. Now I'm not going to pickpocket this first room because it's just too many damn enemies to worry about but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna sprint through them and grab the big the majority of them up and I'll show you why here in a moment why this is this is such a great farm now like I said if you're not higher level this is gonna be a real difficult farm I'm not gonna lie if you are or higher gear score, I should say not necessarily higher level but if you want a higher gear score, you're, you're, you're going to be in for a rough ride, simply put. The reason you want to be a tailor is that. Cloth. Pure and simple. You want to get cloth, you need to do this. Now these void bastards, as soon as you go near them, they activate, so you can easily just take care of the face twisters real quick. These little things, I, I don't know what they're doing. They, I guess they, they do damage to somebody, but if you're high, if you have uber gear score it really doesn't do much so anyway here we go now this is just one run I'm not even gonna open my inventory until oh, shit I didn't clear my gold out that's okay I'll look at it here and I'll just give you guys I'll send I'll just send it to an all it's all good we'll sort that out anyway you clear this room and I like to clear the second room because there are a few more humanoids there that drop blue now I understand it's like, well, why the hell would I want to do Bastion of Twilight? There's not enough enemies that you know that, that drop loot, and and that's somewhat true, but you know you do ten runs of this, and you reset it. And yeah, this is the, this is the second room. If you're just curious of what I was referring to, it's like four to six enemies. I think there's one around the corner. I can't remember. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you do that. Simple, right? Now, it looks like, got a little bit of trash, got a green. Greens can actually be disenchanted if you're an enchanter. They have some value. Sell the food, you don't need it. But, look at that. 114 Ember Silk Cloth. Ember Silk does fluctuate on the Auction House, but Ember Silk Cloth can be turned, if you're a tailor, into Ember Silk Bags, which I have seen go for as little as 350 gold, and as much as 600 gold, depending on the server. 600 gold per bag, and you could farm this shit all day, literally. So reset all instances. Yay. And you go right back in, and they're inside. Boom. And total time was less than two minutes. 58 minutes still on my potion. So you can do this ten times, and then you can literally log out, wait an hour, whatever, do it again. Really good for picking up some extra gold. Now, the potions of treasure finding, I'm not going to lie here. The potions of treasure finding, they, they you know, they do give you extra loot, but it's not as often as the actual potions of luck, okay? That's why I always like the potions of luck, but I, I don't know why they're doing away with them. I guess Blizzard's just removing all of the abilities for us to farm gold. I mean, oh, we don't want you to play our game for free easily. It's not easy. It requires, everything requires effort. If you want to play World of Warcraft for free, if you want to farm the necessary gold, you have to put in the time. It's simple. And that's that. As you see, all these groups are dead. Moving on to these SOBs. Yeah, you take a little bit of damage. By being a rogue is always funny because I just do death from above and they go bye-bye. Or if I have a lot of combo points, 
I, I just do this. And oh, good night. Oh, these boxes ain't throw. Oh, see, there we go. Tiny treasure chest. I did get one. But, I mean, after, you know, an hour of farming, you're probably going to have more like 50 of them. I mean, we'll see. Like, I'm not going to farm for an hour. I promise you guys that. That would be so boring to watch. Like, I understand if I'm, like, playing PvP or some shit, but farming for an hour? No. But, yeah, two runs. Two runs. 211 cloth. Oh, look. Three of that. You know what? Give me three gold. Those can actually give you stuff, too. But 211 cloth. And, then, like I said, if you are an enchanter, it's always good to DE the greens. Because you can turn them into bags. And, yeah. So, in two runs, I've made 200 cloth. Let's just go on the low ball end and say, oh, well, 200 cloth is only really worth, I don't know, what? 35 silver per. So, you're still looking at 65 to 100 gold on a bad day on the auction house just for the cloth by itself. So, they're, they're, you know, that's not too horrible. Now, what I normally do is I do it 10 times, and then I re on the 10th reset, I clear it. Because you can only reset an instance 10 times per hour. Um, but yeah, on the 10th reset, I clear the instance, and then I actually get you know, transmogs, whatever, just free loot, and then I'm good. If you still have time on your Potion of Luck, what you actually can do since you're here is you can go over to Grim Batal and run that SOB 10 times. And you can get more and more cloth and more and more greens and more and more of these little tiny treasure boxes, which is just money. So I would definitely say give that a shot. Now, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to run down the hill real quick and send this gold to an alt so I can zero out and give you guys a fair estimate of the raw. And I will be back with you in 55 minutes. All right, everybody, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, I should say I'm welcome back. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I just finished my 10 runs, as you can see probably from my chat here. It says I've entered the instance too many times recently. So uh, most of the time you have to wait a few minutes to get back in. Or, you know, in my case, I sell. It's the perfect moment to do it. All right, so my general rule of thumb is when selling items... Uh, some purples, you can keep them. I mean, they, they could be transmogable, they could be sellable, but most of them aren't. So, here's what I would honestly say. Uh, also, with greens, I sell the weapons because the weapons are going to be worth more than, you know, the auction's probably worth your time. Now, I did get a couple of tra uh, transmogable items that are BOE that I'm going to try and sell in the auction house. As you see, I've got a Mondo bag of greens right now. Now, I'm going to DE all those so we can see exactly what we're looking at. It's mostly, I mean, this is the stuff you want. You want hypnotic dust, simply put. Hypnotic dust, it's, it carries so much damn value for some reason. And I guess it's because even at level, you know, level 85, you're not getting much of it when you DE an item. So, take what you can get, right? Anyway, going to DE the rest of this stuff. Whatever, I'll finish that in a bit. But... As you see, I have almost 1,000 cloth, just shy of it, actually. Now, if I go back in and I finish the instance, which I do plan on doing uh, to get a final tally, um, it's not bad. I mean, you got I got a little bit of ore, some earth, some air, one piece of pyrite, yeah, whatever. Um, th th this is the total haul, you know, 537 gold from trash not bad three po uh, pieces of gear that are possibly transmogifiable that you can send on the auction house they're all BOE this one will carry some value it's the leather hood that has the arcing feathers uh, druids like that people like it for transmog on certain races um, the cloth though is really where the value is now I'm gonna post raw cloth values and I'm also gonna post the hex week bag values so I can tell you exactly how much I'd make from the bags, or actually how much I'd make from the cloth. That way we can truly determine. Now, let's see if this let me back in. Nope. All right. So I'm gonna have to do it later. That's perfectly fine. Now, as you see, it took me uh, 23 minutes on the clock. So I'd say, you know, minus the two minutes we've been talking out here, you're looking at about, you know, 35 to 40 minutes to do this total farm 10 times. It's not. That's not bad for 10 times. I mean, just from the sheer amount of stuff that I have here plus the 537 gold, considering this can be done by just about anybody that has it, 
simple form of AoE at level 100. So, uh, the enchanting mats, if you don't, you know, if, if you're not going to try and make bags, you can always sell them. You can sell the greens to the vendor, but I'll be perfectly honest, I know this hypnotic dust right here has an insane value because it's needed for those bags. You need 15 to make one bag. So, I would honestly say, you know, definitely keep it around now. I'm not getting as lucky as I'd like, and I sure shit don't want this Celestial Essence stuff. But, you know, whatever. I mean, either that, or if you're not an enchanter, you can just sell all the greens and just sell the cloth. It's perfectly fine, you know. So just from this perspective right now, it looks like I can make two bags just from the, the dust I have right now. Now, like I said, I've only done the instance ten times and it's locked me out because I did five real quick. So I could easily come back in 30 minutes and finish the instance out. Now, the reason I do that first room is for a farm is because the first room is where all the loot's at. After that, you really don't get much loot from the other mobs. Like, most of the mobs just drop trash. Um, some of them drop elemental stuff, like the volatiles. But other than that, you're really not going to see much for more loot other than the boss drops. Now, boss drops at 25, you're going to get, I don't know, about 135 to 200 gold per boss. Then you're going to get anywhere from 100 to 500 gold per boss for loot. Just selling it to a vendor. So, last year the Twilight has quite a bit of bosses too. So, it's actually pretty fantastic. But definitely follow the events of this gold guide. I will post all the final numbers and everything else for auctioning. Because this is not a raw, this is not like a heavy raw gold farm. But this is an actual gold farm where you will need to do a little bit of auctioning. But like I said, once again, use the mobile armory app. Don't tr don't don't try and use the auctioneer apps. Don't try and use all that shit to try and become some, you know, ridiculous gold farmer that's trying to play it like the uh, you know the stock market. I'm doing the easy stuff. Use the mobile armory app. Post it in your free time. You know, post it when you're on the can like I do, and you'll be you'll be you'll be better than you know better than good. So. Thank you guys all very much for watching this video. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, you know, do anything you can do to help me out. I'm trying to make this YouTube thing and this Twitch thing a career. Follow me on twitch.tv slash evilbreed666. I, I Twitch five to six days a week doing gold guides, funny videos with Steve, and different games. So uh, I will be posting a review for Doom probably tomorrow or Tuesday. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching, and everybody have a freaking awesome day. Ah, uh, where's my money?